Okay. Well, okay. Uh, this is not a long video. <laughs> I've only seen one of the other Daniel Larson videos. Um, but I know he's kind of all over the place on the internet. And it's kind of a sad story. I mean, he, it seems like maybe he might be like schizophrenic or I mean I'm not a doctor I can't diagnose people but uh, he definitely seems to have some sort of mental issues but even worse than that you know with a lot of the channels that I cover such as Chantel and Amberlynn and Eugenia they actually have fan followings who are like, yes, you go girl, you look great. Keep eating or don't eat at all. Don't listen to the haters, you know, whatever it is, whatever the problem is. They're, um, they have certain, I think they would be considered fetish fan following who are egging them on. To go further with whatever it is that's going on with them. However, in the case of Daniel Larson's, he has such an extensive network of trolls. And he has been so open with his personal information, like his phone number and stuff, that um, these people who follow him have been able to convince him of things like that he's going to get Hollywood deals, that uh, he is, th that he's in communication with like an actress who wants to meet up with him. Uh, it's just, it's kind of sad. It's like, it's a completely different sort of watch because um this guy I don't know if he's just hamming it up for the camera but if he's not then he is truly believing what these people are telling him and I don't think any of the other channels that I watch are that gullible that they would believe that sort of stuff I mean they they certainly make bad decisions but not on the level of what we see here with Daniel Larson um and so this is the leaping lemur I haven't watched it yet so I have no idea what we're about to get ourselves into but the title of the video is the FBI is charging Daniel Larson Okay, and it says, reacting to Daniel Larson's first jail call. Okay, so I guess they got a copy of the call. All right. Um, there's apparently some music in here that I might get dinged for. Let's see. Hopefully that is not the case. Um, if it is, let me just push this up here. The music that will be in this video is Home by Lucrembo and freetouse.com music. Free, no copyright music download. So hopefully you're right about that. I hope that you're right about that. Okay, so anyway, let's watch this and see what it's about. Everyone about Daniel Larson being arrested. He was being held by Jefferson County Investigations for another agency. Most people speculated that it may have been the FBI. And I was pretty confident in that fact because Daniel Larson has made numerous threats towards the FBI. But uh, in the stream highlight that I'm about to show y'all, I basically... I think uh, Jefferson County is on the East Coast. I've, this guy kind of goes all over the place. He's been in um, 
Vegas a lot. He's been in LA. He's been in New York. He, he's been kind of all over the country. So I don't know exactly which Jefferson County he's referring to. We talk about Daniel Larson's charges and the agency that I suspect is holding Daniel. And y'all will see a little bit later that I was right in my assumption. But just watch this first, y'all. Stop calling me gay in the chat. It's not funny. It's not cool. It's false information. And I'm going to have you sued by Grace Vanderwall. Is this yeah, clickbait? No, it is. it isn't clickbait. Yeah, he's like really obsessed with Grace Vanderwall and a lot of uh, his fan base has his cell number and has been contacting him impersonating Grace Vanderwald. This is real life right now. Uh, let's let's go because a lot of the stuff is in the Reddit. The Reddit hates me, so we might see some like call outs right now, y'all. But uh, here is what's in the thumbnail, which is basically Daniel's the arrest record. Uh, you know, he's ba he's in custody. Jefferson County Detention Facility. Uh, yeah. But this doesn't really give us too much information, right? It just shows he was arrested. And then you see this one. And this one actually shows what the charges were. It says, courtesy housing for another agency. Oh. And it's from the Jefferson County investigations. So this isn't just like, oh, his normal, like, regular, you know, the cops arrested him in some county. They're holding him for another agency. And is he eligible for bail this time? No, he's not eligible for bail this time. So people have been... Well, that just means there's an extradition. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a federal investigation, but I imagine you have more, okay? Speculating, and um, basically what they figured out is that this investigations group actually deals with felony crimes. Um, and people are starting to, you know, they're thinking like, what could this be? Uh, me too. I'm thinking too. Is it the time he went on live and threatened the FBI? Was it recently when he said, you know, he was watching CP because of the... Oh yeah, he has threatened to like blow up the White House and kill the president. And like, he's, he's done a lot of that. So... I think he has been on an FBI watch list for a while. The FBI, it could literally be a whole slew of things. Now, there were people that doubted me at the time. I did have some naysayers in the chat that were trying to tell me that Daniel Larson wasn't going to get federal charges. I had people still today that were in my comments telling me that he never gets bail when he's first put into jail. And that's a lie. Every time Daniel Larson has ever been put into jail, no matter if he sees a judge or not, they always say if he's eligible for bail. Being eligible for bail is different than actually having bail. That's two different things and actually having a set amount of bail. I hope people know that. Anyway, as y'all can see, Daniel Larson fucked up. So some other agency had him and he ended up calling Clark. His first thought was, let me call Clark. Let me call management and tell them what happened. Just watch this video as Daniel explains how he got federal charges from the FBI for the threats that he made. Just like I said he would. Jesus Christ, Daniel. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. How are you, bud? Oh, my God. Um, I'm doing okay. Um, well, for, the we, feds pretty much got me. The feds got this you? The, like, yeah, this time the feds got me. And Bob told me that it wasn't going to happen and he didn't believe me. And I went to probation yesterday, and sure enough, the feds were there, and they charged me with seven counts of... Um, from the threats that I made. Seven counts of threats? Yep. Oh, wow. under, under federal court. Holy shit. Yeah. So this shit. Well, y'all, that's it. Justice was finally served. The people in Colorado can sleep peacefully at night knowing that Daniel Larson is no longer on the streets. All the individuals that are under the age of 18 can finally come out of their houses because Daniel Larson isn't lurking around the corner. It's a, it's a great day, folks. It's a great day to be alive. Basically, this is what I thought was going to happen. I had a feeling that this was going to happen, and I was telling people that he was going to get federal charges, but, I mean, nobody ever really listens to me. And I
I do believe that Daniel does have plot armor, and I don't think that he's going to get as much of a charge as a normal person would for this kind of shit. Like, he's probably going to find some way to wiggle out of it, but it's amazing that he even got charged in the first place, or he's even being investigated in the first place, sorry. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was just a quick one. I just wanted to point out... Wow, that's... Um... <clears throat> I think Breezy covered him uh, a couple weeks ago or something, but I saw the Macaroni Girl video months ago, and um, Breezy, you know, the, the, the React channels have been trying to find new material recently because, um, because Chantel has ended up being such a disaster for us, right? But um, some of the stuff that that Breezy has looked into has been extra, like, vulgar. And this is one of the reasons I haven't really covered Daniel Larson. Is, yeah, he's a PDF file. And um, <clears throat> the series that she covered on him said that when I think he was in Hollywood, he was on the streets um, sleeping in porta potties and he got scabies. He didn't get treated for it for about a year. So scabies is highly contagious. He was taking public transportation like Greyhound buses and subways and all kinds of stuff and spreading scabies all across America. And he finally got treated for it, I think a year later, because it got so bad that he ended up in the ER. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, it sounds like the FBI is finally on him. And, you know, regardless if they just put a, you know, an ankle bracelet on him or just let him off with like a slap on the wrist. He's certainly on their radar now and he has made several threats against the White House and the president. So I think um, we're going to see this progressively get worse because some of uh, the video I've seen of him, he gets violent. He starts hitting people. He's had to be kicked out of cars. Um, but he just acts like he's completely insane at all times. And I don't know if he is making money by monetizing his videos. Why in the world is he sleeping in porta potties? Like, why would you do that? I think he's probably got some mental health issues, but like I said, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a mental health professional. I have no idea what's going on with this guy, but I think he's about to have a major meltdown these uh, federal charges that Daniel Larson's getting and uh, make this video confirming that Daniel Larson is being investigated by the FBI. See you guys in the next one. Peace. All right. Well, thank you, the Leaping Lemmer, for um, sharing this information. I will absolutely um, share the link to your video. And... Um, I'll keep, I'll keep a little bit of side eye on this story. This guy is so out of it that I don't really want to put a lot of energy on him.